Hey guys, the video I have for you today is one I shot actually a couple days ago. I was not going to put it up, but it shows some real life experience that we go through sometimes. This is the one that had the three ton coil and a three and a half ton condenser. I think he had something to say. Um, so we went back with a four ton coil, which was much taller than the three ton coil. And this was an upflow now. So I had limited space and I had to make some alterations that I didn't like. And um, in the end, it didn't turn out ideal. And we can discuss why, but here comes that video, stay tuned. All right, we got that pumped down. Let's work on removing that coil inside. Hello. Let's get this out of here. Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, that's a lot taller than what we have. A lot taller. We're gonna have to make some alterations inside. fit right down in there. Ooh. 
we got to get to the bottom of this and maybe then some like down down to here Yeah, that ain't gonna be easy. Let me think about this. All right, I'm gonna have to cut out. I'm gonna have to cut out that bottom and I still may have to bump into the blower because that, uh, that new coil is tall. All right, that's my new platform. Let's see how we do. elbow started we just gotta hook these twos up these two up do the same thing with this.
On. Got my jumper hooked up. Got my freighters out. Let's see how long it takes to start showing my clones. There we go. 7,000, 6,000, 5,000 microns. Down to 2,000 microns. We're doing good. Oh. All right. I've got to put this back together, seal this up a little bit, and we'll be done in here my uh, PVC glue see if I can get any of it has just turned to jello worthless all right we're down to 557 microns just a little bit further to go seems like it's slowing down now it's gotten close to 500 all right got that sealed up better Hope it does. Five eleven. Almost there. Four ninety six. Let's let it run a little bit longer because I got a little more time. All right, we're down to four eighty five. Let's watch that for a little while. It should be stable notice both of these are open still at 485 I'm gonna watch it for a little while and see where it goes to all right here we are at about five minutes later so I'm going to close this off to protect this and pressurize all right, now let's take a look at these pressures and see if we're doing any better. Low subcooling, high superheat. Before it was very low superheat. I'm going to go get a little bit of Freon and run this for a little while. All right, we got us a 18 degree temp drop from it's 70 degrees, 69.9 in there. Now that is just below freezing. 15 degrees superheat, 17.6 degrees subcooling. I think at 69.5 degrees in there that that might be pretty close to normal. We're gonna leave it. Now remember last time we had almost zero superheat. 
gonna do one thing real quick. That suction pressure just does not seem to want to come up. All right, there in the end, what I ended up with was kind of a normal superheat, a little bit high subcooling, but my suction pressure was really low. Um, like my metering device was not opening up the, the brand new TXV, but I'm reluctant to condemn a brand new TXV I think my first step might be to add a return to it. You may have noticed that's a 20 by 20 what on what is now a three and a half ton. So add a return to it and see if I my pressures rise. But I would like to see it when it's not 69 degrees inside and something like 70 outside. It was just not ideal conditions. So I do plan to go back and check again it won't be that hard to add a return because it's an upflow. You can just tap it right in the bottom there. <clears throat> but, um, but yeah, I welcome the discussion on this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.